What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Playing a little bit of The Last of Us multiplayer for PS4, The Last of Us Remastered. I did pretty good this game. I had a, had a really good time uh, kicking ass last night. And uh, I think I'm getting better. I might become one of the, the premier Last of Us Remastered players. I'm just digging deep into it. It's so much strategy that goes into this game. Yeah, it looks great. PS4 version is just uh, probably my favorite game to play right now until the stuff comes out later this year. But I can't see myself stopping. This is a very fun game. If you guys got it, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you want it, let me know what you think. And uh, hit me up on PSN if you guys would like to play some multiplayer with the Beastly Gamer. Now, this news has really, really gotten me upset. I normally don't cover things that I have, you know, an emotional attachment to, but I'm, I'm what's considered a, a libertarian. I, I believe in the rights of free people. I believe that we have the rights as Americans that are afforded to us by the Constitution that at every turn, the government usually is eviscerating. They're eviscerating the Second Amendment. They're eviscerating the Fourth Amendment. Pretty soon, I feel like the First Amendment will be over. It's just uh, we're in a bad state as far as the, the, the country and the rights of the free people. And uh, the Fourth Amendment is one that I'm very passionate about. Your right to not be illegally searched or seized. Um, I feel like if a police officer were to stop me and ask me for my identification and I haven't broken the law, I'd, I'd tell him that he has no legal jurisdiction to ask me who I am because I value my privacy. I'm not a criminal. I'm not suspected of committing a crime. And therefore, I shouldn't have to uh, supply you with information because as uh, someone who is in the, the position of a police officer, you're only supposed to ask for information or demand information for someone who's committing a crime because I am an American. And so I believe in that wholeheartedly. And that's why this story has got me really pissed off. A lot of people are pissed off at GameStop anyway. People don't like GameStop because uh, of the used games. They don't like it because of their policies. They're, they got a new GameStop card, a credit card that's getting ready to be released. That has a 27% APR. 27% interest. So if you buy something that costs $100, you're going to pay $128. Bucks. And, and that's only for the first month. So the second month, you're going to be paying like $154. So think about it. I mean, the, the company is very unscrupulous. It's just ridiculous. And this has really been an overreach by GameStop, if you ask me. In Philadelphia, this is the GameStop store that I'm talking about in the picture you guys see. GameStop is fingerprinting people to help fight crime. So GameStop wants to be, uh, you know, kick-ass now. They want to help the local police officers find potential criminals, people who have stolen video games and, and turn in this information to a thumbprint database helping the police. This in my opinion is a huge overreach. This is in my opinion is a very slippery slope and, and for I for one would be out protesting right now if this were happening in my local GameStop. Now from what I understand this only happened in the Philadelphia stores. Um, and, and it's very, it's a fucked up situation. I'm really upset about it. But GameStop, come on. You guys have got to gotta get your shit together, man. You can't be fingerprinting people. It's like Facebook. Everybody knows that Facebook gives all your information to, you know, the, the, the authorities. It's, it's known knowledge now. That everything you put on Facebook belongs to Facebook. And they have the right to supply the police, FBI, CIA with all your information. Uh, and and very, a very vocal group of people were, were up against it. I was one of them. That's why I don't have a personal Facebook page. I have a YouTube YouTube account Facebook page. But when, when these companies start getting into this, your rights, you, you lose your rights. You lose who you are. You lose your ability. You upload a picture of your daughter on Facebook, Facebook owns it. Anybody who sees that picture can download it. So, I mean, when, when, when these people, these companies start stepping out of bounds and getting into other things, it's a slippery slope until we, we eventually have no rights as Americans. And it pisses me off. This article is on GameSpot.com. <sighs> there will be a link in the description, and it, it just frustrates me that companies have the balls to do this, and people actually go in there and give them their money. Retailer now, okay, let me see. GameStop now fingerprinting people trading in games in Philadelphia to help fight crime. Batman. Retailer now requiring people uh, who trade in games to provide a fingerprint scan as a means to assist local law enforcement. 
Some GameStop stores in Philadelphia are now requiring that people who trade in games provide a fingerprint scan for certain transactions. CBS Philadelphia reports today based on conversations with a local retailer, local government, police, and shoppers. According to GameStop, it is following a local law that says the retailer is allowed to collect thumbprints. These scans eventually make their way into a database that helps law enforcement nab thieves who seek to use GameStop as a pawn shop of sorts to unload their goods. Philadelphia City Solicitor Shelley Smith says that GameStop is not required to collect the thumbprints to abide by the city's pawnbroker law. What GameStop does doesn't meet any of the elements of the definition of the code, so the pawnbroker ordinance doesn't apply to GameStop, she said. The Philadelphia Police Department, on the other hand, tells CBS Philadelphia that GameStop is being proactive by obtaining customer fingerprints and uploading them to a database known as Leads Online. Still, GameStop shoppers outside the store in Philadelphia City Center District are not too pleased about the new policy. I really don't appreciate it, one person said. You fingerprinted me like I'm in a police district. No, I'm in a game store, another person said. I think it's an overreach and it's going too far. And I believe it's an overreach. I think it's way too far. I think that the people in Philadelphia need to not go in that store, not spend any money in there until they get their shit. It's a game store. You're not there to help the police. I mean, I know there's a lot of people in the world who say, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, you have nothing to worry about. If you're not doing anything wrong, you shouldn't be fingerprinted, period. You have a right. You have a constitutional right to not be illegally or unreasonably searched and seized. And that's unreasonable. If you go into a store to trade in a game, that they want to fingerprint you and then give the information to the police, that's an overreach, it's wrong, and I feel like a criminal, I wouldn't go in there. GameStop's fingerprinting initiative is currently only underway in Philadelphia itself, but not the suburb, suburbs. We've reached out to GameStop for further clarification about this new policy for Philadelphia, and we'll update the story with anything we hear back. What do I think about this ridiculous story? I think that uh, GameStop has a major, major issue here. Um, if this were to come here to Georgia, I swear I wouldn't go to GameStop anymore. It, it, it would just be totally unacceptable. I think that we have rights, and I think that the American people have slowly become numb to the fact that they're taking them away from us. You guys, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about GameStop fingerprinting people to help fight crime. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.